Eagles. Thank you for joining me for yet another video. For the eagle eyed of you out there, you may have noticed it is dark. It's evening time. Uh, quick time check. It is two minutes to six and I've come out to do some shopping. It's a rainy, cold, windy. It's a crappy old night. And I thought, you know what? I want to go to B&M. I feel like spring is imminent. It's coming. You can feel it. You can feel it in the air. You can feel it in the sky that's a little brighter. There's a bit more green and colour around. Like flowers starting to pop through. The, the bulbs are popping up out the ground. And it's just feeling like, you know, Easter and spring is soon going to be here. So therefore, it's the time for new cleaning flavours. New softener flavors i'm excited so i just thought on a night like this there's not much else to do if i stayed home i'd only be cleaning and i'm not down for that tonight i don't feel like it now there may be some people viewing this who have got young kids that you're home for and i just want to say just stick with it like i've done my time in the home prison that is the evenings with young kids at home with the tea and the bath and the bed routine. I have done my time and <laughs> I don't know. I'm just in a silly mood. I think I'm over caffeinated today. Uh, and I'm at that point now, my kids are older and stuff. So my evenings are mine again. And if I want to come shopping to B&M, MTK Max, etc., I can do. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Let me just turn the wipers off. Okay. We've got Valentine's coming up which also on the back of that I want to go to TK Maxx and just see if they've got any goodies, decor bits in there while I'm here. Anyway, I'm waffling. Time is nearly five past six. I don't even know what time these places shut down here. So let's go see what they've got in B&M. Why I'm living the life just be myself. 
myself and I I used to think that life was cold and lonely When you up and left me sadness overwhelming Me, I am out and about Painting the town red, I'm coming around There ain't no doubt about it, I'm no longer blue So glad we are through, just me, myself and I If you go shopping midweek on an evening, especially when it's dark, that is the prime time to go. If you do not have kids that are like of age that you're going to be there at home with them, that is the time to go shopping. It's an absolute revelation. I love it. Anyway, I've had a very successful shopping outing. I'm also sat just on, on the bedroom floor because I just thought it'd be easier actually sat here to do this rather than struggle on the kitchen table quite a lot. earlier i said it was really cold it has absolutely bounced it down with rain but it's like 10 11 degrees so i've gone out with this and i'm a big long puffy coat and i'm like i don't know maybe it's just my age but we're getting in all right old tis i'm going to show you what i got so first things first it's a fabulous time to go shopping for the new spring Easter, seasonal things, decor, scents for things. It's the same as anything, be it, you know, Christmas or Halloween. If you don't go early, you're not gonna get. So tomorrow is the 1st of Feb and there are things on the shelves, but honestly, I think that after this weekend, it's really gonna dwindle because I think people are gonna realize the same. Like if I don't go now, I'm not gonna get and you know, panic buy. It's like the whole toilet paper during COVID-19 thing all over again. B&M, now I went a little bit crazy in B&M. I've got quite a few dog goodies and food, stuff like that. So kind of boring, if you don't have a dog, I'd skip this 30 seconds. Um, but I've not had this before, so I thought we'd try it. So it's the Paulo Grady dry dog food with salmon. Anyone who knows Paul O'Grady, God rest his soul, he loved his dogs and his animals. So if he thinks it's good enough, then it'll do for me. So we've got this to try. Then we've got to treat. So I've got these bad boys that my doggies love. They go crazy for these. And I also got these to try. Now Dolly has had these before and she's never been interested. Sasha though will basically eat anything you give her and I think with that competition between them both like one doesn't want to have anything without the other you get what I mean so Dolly might start having them and they're pretty cheap I think these are like £1.29 or something it's quite a big box um another pack of them cost between two dogs so they go down pretty fast then I bought some more of the skinny dream chocolate toffee bars two of those because they're just nice to have in sometimes like this on a night looks like a nice little cup of tea chewing gum in the car i had one in the car earlier when i was at work and i took it out to take it and have on my desk because i like to chew on something because if i don't i eat food so i need a new one in the car so that's that now this is a treat for dan jesse whoever um, mainly because I really want to try it 
and I can't really have it. Well, I could. I could maybe just have a piece. But if I don't say I'm giving it to somebody else, I will quite easily eat the whole bar. I'm not gonna lie. The Cadbury Caramilk slices with caramel. So if you can see the, the image there, I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. Let me try and sort this out well. It's because I'm sat further away. It's like it's got like Oreo biscuit in it and then like white stuff and then caramel. Can you see that okay? <sighs> Looks delish. I also got some double chocolate skinny whips because they are nice. Then we got these are wicked, these little squeaky balls. They are one pound fifty, different colours, the dogs go crazy for them. It's the best £1.50 I have ever spent. And I've had quite a few because they seem to be able to like chew the squeak out fairly quickly. But for £1.50, I really don't care because the, the dogs just get so much joy out of them. And in that time, it's worth that £1.50. So thumbs up for my dogs from them. Well, they ain't got thumbs, but if they had thumbs, they'd give you thumbs up. Then I got from the Scooby-Doo range, uh, this tough squeaky bone. This was two pounds. On the theme of dogs, but not directly, I saw these, which I wanted to try. So it's a pack of three reusable lint and hair catchables. Um, so they go in the washing machine. Well, washer or dryer, it says. I'm just gonna scooch a little closer so I can show you. So these are, let me just, so it's like Velcro texture. Yeah, you just throw it in, in the washing machine or after washing in your dryer and it just like attracts dog hair and lint. And we get a lot. So I'm gonna try these and then I will report back and let you know if I think they work. They weren't expensive. They were like, oh, it says on the top, they were two pounds. So it's not that they were very expensive, but if they don't work, don't bother going out. And then, I wanted one of these for ages and they used to have a plastic one and I didn't like it because it just looked ugly. And I saw this and I thought, you're not ugly, so I'm gonna treat myself. Treat myself to something like this. Oh Am I old or what? Um, so just a big basket for housekeeping stuff and this was nine pounds. And the reason I've bought one of these again is because, so we had a cleaner. I have mentioned before, but they were sacked at New Year because she wasn't responding, she was answering, answering my questions. And then the day that she told me that the cleaner was coming, she didn't. I messaged her and I said the cleaner didn't come today. She goes, oh, sorry, I didn't realise. Let me find out what's going on. And again, never got back to me. And I just thought that service was shoddy. There's no way to run a business. Um, so I, I let them go. I says, thank you, but we shan't be requiring your services anymore. <sighs> so, you're looking at the new cleaner again. And we're really short of storage upstairs in the house, so I can't, it's not like I have space in a drawer up here to keep cleaning products for like the upstairs bathrooms or anything, so I just have to carry things from like downstairs under the sink to clean with upstairs, and I was just up and downstairs all the time and dropping things or snapping things on the end of my thing, you know, you're trying to dangle like squirty bottles and things. So I thought I needed one, so I trapped myself. Then we got um, a six pack of plain white face cloths for 350, which I thought was a, an amazing bargain. Um, on the video, the footage from walking round, I picked up and put in the trolley because I was going to buy them like I think it was a two pack of like face mitts made out of the same sort of terry toweling kind of stuff and that was I can't even remember that was about the same price um but you only get two and I thought you know six is better because you can throw them in the wash and you've still got plenty left it just helps getting the makeup off and things like that so then I bought um so I've had these before and I think just over time, I mean they are really cheap, but they are really good. So I bought these before but some have broken. Um, just either been dropped or trapped in the drawer when we put them away and they've sort of cracked a little bit. But I've had these like two years. So I've got another pack, so six of the meal prep 
bowls. These are really good. They remind me very much of the old style Subway salad dishes. If anyone remembers those, like now they just come, they, they do a salad in like a big cardboard box. Before that, it was like a square sort of one of these and it was shallower. But prior to that, it was something quite like this. And because we do make our own salads for lunch, I just really like taking them in these feels I, i've had people say oh that's a nice salad where did you get that from i'm like uh, my kitchen and they're like oh you made that yourself i'm like yeah it's salad do you know what i mean like you're not that dumb surely um so then i also picked up one of these so it's just an a4 expanding file that was three pound fifty um this is just for keeping receipts in so i'm just going to label these up by the months uh just for safekeeping of receipts that we're going to need then we're getting some better things now kind of so i've got some more of these for dan because he loves them um i don't know how much these are let me find my receipt and i'll tell you how much these things were oh also let me just go over some of the so the polo grady dog food it's 1.8 kilos that was £4.49 the cadbury's caramel slice bar was £2.99 wow um, the Belvita Minis, £1.25, that's a bargain, B&M, it's the future. Um, what else have we gone through already? Uh, the, I think some of these I've probably told you. So the, the Skinny Dream Bars are £1.25 each. The Gravy Bones for the Dog, £1.39, that might be about it. I think that's about it. So then just for cooking... Um, just got some more dark soy sauce and some light soy sauce. They were like 69 pence each, I think. Yeah, 69 pence each for those. Bargain. Then I got a huge pack of tea light candles, uh, which have got an average burn time of four hours, which I like. You can get some that are like obviously longer, like eight hours and things, but I just feel if I'm going to put these on, it tends to be on the evening. And in case I fall asleep or happen to go to bed and forget that I've left a candle on, it's going to burn out pretty quick. So I just think that they're safer. And if it's a weekend and I'm in the house, then if I notice it's gone out, I'll just chuck another one in. I just think they're safer. So I bought these and these tea light candles, how many are there? 70 in there. Price is on the front, £3. Then... I've got some more dream things, skinny dreams. So I've got the sort of caramel ones as well. They're really nice. Also one pound twenty five nine, whatever they are. Now we're getting to the smellies. <laughs> the smelly stuff. So I bought three. The Febreze bathroom scent. And this is a new one. I've not seen this one before. This is honeysuckle. Now what annoys me about these is you've got no scratch and sniff to know what it's going to smell like before you come in and buy it however on the shelf next to it you've got the can of aerosol so i had a little quick spray and had a sniff and i liked it so three went in <laughs> but we we have three bathrooms i think it's like three for six pounds and they're pretty good actually they, they smell quite nice i'll tell you what i've noticed with these before because it's a constant smell um i mean it says up to 50 days Mm, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe about a month. But as you walk upstairs, if Jessie's bathroom door's open, I can smell. So, quite nice. And honeysuckle, I mean, that is just the mm, spring, summer, you know. So, got these. Then in the same scent again, I got a plug-in. Now, you're going to laugh at me because this has got a scratch and stick, but I had a spray of the old aerosol anyway, because, you know, B&M could do a bit of making it smell nice does that make sense well, that was two pound 99 it does smell actually genuinely really nice it's um it smells really fresh and light and summery even though it's not summer it's just got that really nice pollen allergies blowing in i'm not selling it am i but it smells nice <laughs> is what i'm trying to say breath of fresh air it's literally like that also in the new sense the flora i actually didn't see this till i had paid and ha was on my way out of the shop so 
So I went and loaded the car with my big bag of stuff and then when I took my trolley back, I went in to get this because I could not walk away and leave it. Now I haven't even tried the scent of this yet. This is Tulip and Peach Blossom. Let's have a little whiff of it now. And also, so I've got that in the disinfectant stuff because I do drop that into either the sink with some boil... I can't speak. Either into the sink and some boiling water on so it diffuses through the air or I also mix it in when I'm mopping the kitchen floor because, again, it just gets in the air and it's beautiful. So I'm about to try the smell of that. But I did also buy the matching anti back wipes which I think are good for general clean-ups, uh, dog spills and things. So let's have a whiff of these. And I'll tell you how much these were as well. <clears throat> so the, the wipes, a pack of 96 wipes, these were £2.99. And then the disinfectant was £2.79. Ready? Here we go. Moment of truth. Mmm. Oh. That is nice. Kind of blown away by the alcohol smell or whatever it is that makes it... Yeah, it's got... Yeah, it's got alcohol. Let me just try these wipes instead in case these are a bit easier to get the smell. With that, it's like you've got to smell it wait a little minute and then that's really nice that's really nice pleasant again it's like a really fresh it is a very spring kind of smell I feel like you're gonna think I'm just absolutely bullying you right now and just making this up but they are just a really nice fresh pleasant smell how many more times can I say it but yeah delicious um also i haven't seen these scents anywhere else only b&m i could be wrong maybe i've just not seen them but i do think that certain shops tend to stock certain ones so you'll get like a special edition and it'll only be at b&m or only be at asda etc or just home bargains for example um since we're at the bottom of the bag i'll show you this is the dog food that i buy our dog is in cans so I've got two of these packs of six, and yeah, my dogs absolutely love it. In fact, to be fair, I have mentioned about Dolly before on the video. So Dolly has had years of chronic itching. She's been diagnosed with all sorts of things, and she's been on medication, she's been on prescription diet plans. The poor little thing has been miserable. She's had no fur, she's scratched till she has bled all over her body. We've put her on a raw diet, we've tried a hypoallergenic we've tried everything absolutely everything the raw was fine and she seemed a lot better and she liked it but after maybe a week she would not touch the food doesn't matter how hungry we left her to get she just wouldn't and then the food was going rotten before well you know going kind of rancid before she would then get in to eat it and it was just a waste and we just couldn't sustain it so looked at alternatives for a grain-free hypoallergenic food just because you get desperate don't you it's like oh, what else can i try my dog with now with this not only do both dogs love it dolly doesn't itch she might have the odd little itch because we all have the odd occasional scratch don't we it's just normal um she is like a different dog the way that she is and she wags her tail she's gone from looking really miserable and melancholy and really fucking depressed she she has had the saddest looking eyes for a long time and it just seemed like nothing what we do no matter how much we play with her we've got her baby puppy sister we try and do nice things with her she looked so miserable and now she's like her old self again and she's is she six or is she seven so she's you know she's not a pup but just re like recently, she is looking and acting like a pup and it's just wonderful. See, she's got a little twinkle back in her eyes. It's lovely. So anyway, I know I kind of went off on a tangent there, but I just think it's it's important to share these things. Like that food doesn't make my itchy dog itch. So, and I have spent thousands of pounds on vet bills, 
medications, like ongoing regular injections and tablets and additives for food, oils, special foods, do you know what I mean? Like, if you have a dog that itches, just try something like that. And there's certain treats, and I think it's like the raw Heidi type ones, that also trigger the itching. So, I'm just having to move my leg, because that leg there's gone dead. And I'm probably going to start screaming in a minute with pins and needles. So, seeing these, um, the flash dust magnet. Now I do have a, I think it's an OXO brand, not the beef stock cubes, you know, the OXO good grips. I have got one of those with um, a washable microfiber head and it's on an extendable pole. Now I like it, I like that it's washable, I think it's more, um, I don't know, do you know what I mean? Like I think it's better for the environment because you don't get all this wastage and keep having to replace these heads because I know that's what I'm going to have to do, but I'm just curious because, I don't know, I think there's some things that I don't clean as often as I should, and I think it's because like the head of the other might be in the washer or the dryer and it's not ready and things like that, so maybe I just have this one upstairs and the other one downstairs, I could try that, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, and it says it extends to 90 centimetres as well, so we'll give that one a go get two heads in that as well and this was £5.49 so it's the whole one thing and you get two two heads so I'll let you know I'll get on with that as well then oh that was it for B&M so that all came to so it's two trips so that's is that £12 there that's 76 so I'm just shy of 100 quid they get quite a lot I'm sure you will agree so then I went to um, the card shop. So just really quickly, I have, uh, so it's my niece's birthday this month. Well, one of my nieces. So got this one from the kids for their cousin. I think it's a gorgeous little card. That was 79p. Then from me and Dan for same niece, got this lovely card. This one was 79p. Then I got, this is really quick this part because they're just cards. Um, so then for my niece who's just passed a driving test, I got this one. That was 99 pence. Ooh, expensive. <laughs> and then for Valentine's Day, Dan, if you are watching, shut your eyes and don't look till I say you can look. I know what he's like, you will literally watch. Um, so yeah, just a nice little sweet card. And it's got a lovely little message in it. Um, and that was... Okay, Dan, you can look again now. Right, so then, so that was it for the card shop. And then I went over the way to TK Maxx. Who doesn't love a troll through TK Maxx? And again, going on an evening is the best because you're not being like bullied and shoved and elbowed out of the way by the people with trolleys and stuff trying to get to like what you're looking at. There's some gorgeous Easter kind of springy things. I could have gone crazy, but I didn't. I reined it in because I'm pretty sure that up in the loft somewhere, I have got a clear, you know, them storage boxes full of like Easter and spring things. First, I bought this gorgeous little mug, which says on it, Hoppy Days. Can you see? Hoppy Days. So it's beautiful. It's like speckled, speckled and inside and, um, it's just cute. I mean, it's a lot bigger than the mugs I like. It's, it's good for a cup of tea on a night. If you've got a big old cup of tea. Um, so yeah, and that was... Oh, well, it says that on one side. There. I don't say it on that side. I think that's unfair for those who are left or right-handed. Like, I'm right-handed. I hold it like that. And you can't see what it says. But for those of us who are left-handed... It's not fair. Uh, that, my darlings, was... £3.99. So a bit of an impulse buy this. Uh, hello, everything here was an impulse buy. So I bought this for in our office. It's just like a little pen holder thingy um, with like marble sort of stuff at the bottom. Deceptively heavy. It's quite heavy that one. Um, that was £3.99. Got one in there at the moment but it's like a cardboard one. Got from, I don't know, like Wilco's or Ikea or somewhere and I just wanted something to be nicer. Because I'm starting to spend more time in there now I'm editing and such like. And then lastly, I've got two new candles. Now one of these is a gift from my mum. 
for my Mother's Day. Mum, if you're watching, please turn away just now. I'll tell you when you can look back again. So for everyone else, this is what it looks like. And on the top, <laughs> so cute. Uh, this was £8.99. The scent, it says, is mango tangerine now there were some others of the same kind of thing but different scents same kind of pink thing and when i smelt this i was like oh that's the one. that smells gorgeous and i know my mum's gonna love it in her apartment um really fresh that's definitely the you know the tan the tangerine is strong first and then after you start smelling you get like a nice sweetness of the mango behind that's really nice. I really do think she's going to love it. So for Mother's Day, Mummy's got this to look forward to. Yay! Right, I'll pull that away. Okay, Mum, if you're watching, you can look now. And then for downstairs on my little console at the bottom of the stairs, I bought one myself because I just couldn't up it. So this is also £8.99. It's this on the front. And then on the top, it's got this. And this smells divine also. And that's it. So I'm all spent up and I'm glad that you came along with me for this uh, video shopping session today. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed this. Let me know if there's anything in that's inspired you to go do some shopping yourself. And so yeah, thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>